So now I'd like to give you an overview of bases. Typically, percentages are calculated from population. A base within a variable gives the table something other than the general population from which to count responses and percentages. For example, before respondents are asked for their voting preference, they are first asked, are you a registered voter? All those respondents who answer yes are grouped as registered voters. This registered voters group is the base within the voting preference variable. Using the registered voters base, this becomes the new population from which percentages within the variable are calculated. On a table with this variable, including the base, a figure of 75%, for example, would indicate 75% of those who are registered to vote and not 75% of the population as a whole. Let's say this is our population, which equals 100%. Out of these, we have 80% are registered voters. We take that group of registered voters and they become the new population. So now our registered voters becomes our base, so they become 100%. And of that 100%, Green Party equals 75%, and this is of the registered voters base. To illustrate that in Asteroid, we'll go to the Federal Vote First Preference variable. You can see that we have electors, and this has a, a slightly different icon. And I'm going to include electors and just some of the parties into the rows. The table indicates that we have the population count here, and of that population, 84% are electors. IB indicates an internal base, so it becomes our 100%. When we then look at the remaining parties, we can say 38% of electors, i.e. those registered to vote, vote for moderate left, or it's their first preference. 36.1% of electors have a first preference of moderate right, and so on.